Welcome to the Virtual Bridge Podcast with Miguel and Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. It's always a pleasure to be of service to you wherever you may be. Um, today, before we introduce our guests, we want to honor God first with a prayer. Yes. So um, let us pray. Father in heaven, we come before you. Father God, there is, there is no one like you, Lord. You are great. Father in heaven, your name is mighty in power, Father God. Holy Spirit of the living God, reside in us. Holy Spirit, touch the heart of the listener right now. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you for bringing us together today, Father in heaven, to glorify your name. Thank you for giving Tracy the heart, Father in heaven, to honor you with our, with, with our time, Father in heaven. We want to glorify how you have been moving in her life, Father in heaven, so the listener could receive wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We love you. We honor you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Man, Tracy, we're so excited to have you. Um, we're just so honored that you said yes, and you're, you have a willing heart to be able to come here and share the goodness and what God is still continuing to do through and over your life. Um, Thank you for being obedient and entrusting us with your story, with your testimony. Um, so first off, to begin with, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I was not born in a Christian home, okay. um, but actually at a very young age, um, my dad went into a men's home. Um, he got saved and became a pastor. So mm. I was able to be introduced to like the Christian faith through his yes mm -hmm. um, at a very young age. And I would go with like my grandmother um, and that's kind of how that started. And then once mm -hmm. I became like a teenager, um, I started going by myself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you just got involved and my yeah. friends were going. And at this time, um, no one in my home served God. Like I would mm -hmm. visit my dad like in the summers and mm -hmm. I knew ministry through him. I knew yeah. serving through him and how he served God. And so I learned that even my summer times, my weekends, the holidays, through how my dad served God to yeah. the state. Yeah. So, um, and then at the time, my mom was like Catholic. So, mm. I, you know, that was like once in a blue moon. It wasn't every single Sunday. Um, but as time went on and, you know, I chose to have that, my own relationship with mm -hmm. God. Hey, Amen. That's where um, it's at. Relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Having a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. So that and, you know, just that consistency of like, mm -hmm. even though like I had um, for a moment, like walked away from, you know, church or anything like that. Um, I knew that in the middle of, of my emptiness or my brokenness, like God was always there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what's something that that maybe... Um, that has happened in your life that has shifted away from your life, but that, you know, it was the hand of the Lord mm -hmm. that without the hand of the Lord, it would have been otherwise impossible. We don't know. Like I, I can't just, there's a lot of, yeah. you know, things that I could share, but just something in your life personally that, you know, it could be a friend or it could be your mentality or your way of thinking or, you know, prayer, or mm -hmm. I don't know what has, what has changed, you know, when you came to the Lord, what shifted, that you know it was a hand of God, that God said, I don't know, I, this is not what I want for your life. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a lot of different things that happen. But one of the main things was a relationship. Mm. Mm. And uh, like intimacy with a person? Uh, yeah, in, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, like with so like yeah. So a partner. Yeah. Yeah, a relationship. Um, I knew that it wasn't like of God, but I thought like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it could change. Mm. And... um. Man, like that right there was like hell on earth. Like mm. it was horrible. And I remember like being having like moments where I would like cry and just be like, this is not it. Right yeah. now. Mm. Right. Well, you're like, trying to make it work. Yes. Yeah. yeah like yeah. I tried because I don't I don't want to give up. Like yeah. I want to keep trying. And I remember just saying, like, this can't be it. Like mm. this can't be my life forever mm -hmm. and I remember there was an incident that happened that kind of just woke me up and was like no Tracy like this is not the life that I have for you and from that moment I cried out to God 
Mm. And I said, please get me out of this. Come on. Like, how do I get out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I knew that this person wasn't going to allow me to serve God at my full capacity. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. People need to hear that yeah. sometimes. Yeah, they have to. Because sometimes it's like you want to run after God so much. Like you just want all of God. Like, you're on fire for God. Yes. And there's people that pull you back from Yeah, it. and it's like, oh, you're mm-hmm. doing a little too much. or mm, And mm. the doubt or the fear or intimidation, right? Mm. And so I remember um, like walking into Freedom House as a single woman, okay. as, you know, currently as a single mom and God connecting me with so many people. And I just, I dove right in. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, this is it, God, this is mm-hmm. home. And I mean, and, and Freedom House has like welcome home. You yes. know what Amen. I mean? Like yes. in your home, you mm-hmm. feel comfortable, you feel yeah. safe. Um, yeah. There's warmth, there's love. Yes. There right. Is. Yes. And so I remember walking in there and I'm like, okay, this is home, God. Like, yeah, and I'm I'm going all in, 100. Yeah. percent Yes, yeah. I want to go back to uh, the Bible really quick on something that you just touched, which I believe is true, and is found in the book of Jeremiah, and you know it's it's talking about when you return, when you acknowledge that that you want, you know, Christ and and God in your in your heart. And you repent of your sins and, and you want to change your life. Just like you mentioned, you went to Freedom House and there were so many people that connected with you and showed you love. So the Bible says in Jeremiah 314, return faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you, one from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. Then, look at what it says right here, then, okay. I will give you shepherds after my own heart. What is Freedom House doing? Building people after God's own yeah. heart. Yeah. Yeah. And it says right here, who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. Mm-hmm. Isn't that powerful? Yeah, that's, that's in the Bible. So you guys look it up. <laughs> and what you just mentioned right there is true. It's true that, you know, you went to uh, Freedom House. It felt like home yeah. and God introduced you to shepherds that are showing you the love of God, that's giving you, that's pouring wisdom, knowledge, and understanding yeah. to you. And that's awesome. You know, that's that's why there's a radical shift when you join that, that church. Talking about radical shifts, there's a pivotal moment that Michelle was able to experience in person. Yes. Um, well, you attended, conference. yeah, Women's Conference 2022 in Fiercely, Freedom House. Yeah, Fiercely Feminine, Grace yes. for Greatness. Yes. Oh, yes, there it is. And, <laughs> Fiercely um, Feminine. We want to go ahead and put it, that pivotal moment that we believe it's a radical shift. And we want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So, Solomon, if you could go ahead and put it on the screens. It's just a short little clip that we want to show the audience. Can I slap you? <laughs> Yeah. Come on. So yes. A little part of that, just like a, a snippet of what was going on there. It was things that we were carrying that the that the lies of the enemy have like we have believed. Mm-hmm. And I remember when she called them out, like, you know, you were brave enough to go and you had the courage. And I was just like. These all these lies that she has believed in herself that she wasn't believed. One of them was like, you weren't enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was and like, what? like yeah. me knowing I mean, I've only met uh, Tracy for maybe like months, but it seems like a lifetime. Like I've known her for a lifetime. You're a great friend and I I love you and I honor you. And so being able to see my friend up there, I was like, what? Like, you know, people carrying these things and believing these negative things, the lies of the enemy. And mm-hmm. she was so brave enough and courageous to go up there yeah. and rebuke that. Yeah. Yeah. And shout out to Pastor Lisa Kai, by the yes. way. If you could put the... the, the uh, Selfie of there, there, there they are. <laughs> Lisa Kai and Tracy right there. That's so awesome. Shout out to Lisa Kai. She was yes. absolutely phenomenal. She's great. And um, yeah. yeah, so if you could, you know, just talk about that. What happened? Yes. What happened, Tracy? And, and after, like, what has happened after this um, godly slap that you got? Yeah, spiritual <laughs> slap, spiritual for sure. Life. There we go. Um, well, 
Um, I think in that moment, um, Lisa Kai was, you know, during our Fiercely Feminine Women's Conference 2022, Mm -hmm. she spoke about the lies that we hear, right? And and it's like the lies that we um, believe sometimes or the lies that people tell us. Mm -hmm. And I remember her saying, like, who who can come up here? Like, who's going to come up here and share that? And I felt like there was just a still moment in the room. Mm-hmm. And no one was moving. Mm. And so I kind of looked to my left. I looked to my right. And I kind of thought, like, is anyone going to get up? But did you feel like God was telling you, you go? Yes. Like a calling. Yeah. Yes. So I, and I felt like a gentle push. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Tracy, get up. Yeah. And um, I exposed my lie. And my lie was that I wasn't good enough for God to use me mm-hmm. based on my past. Mm. Based on like my history, um, you know, because you you think like, oh, God, you can use someone else that has like picture perfect family. Mm. Right. Like what we see yeah. in movies or what statistics show us, like yeah. because of this, your your rate of being successful is higher or, you know, mm. whatever that shows us. But like in God. Right. We all have access to be successful with yeah. our Yes. yes. So during that time, I walked up and I exposed my lie and something shifted in me. Like she said, oh, crap, Tracy's up. Mm -hmm. Like Tracy's awake. And yeah, she was right. Like I did wake up. I have been awake. There's something that just shifted. There's something that just woke up out of me. And I'm like, I no longer want to be the same person. That night, I did not sleep. Mm. I said, how can anyone sleep after such an impactful impartation? Mm. Yes. And not only to me, right? Because I told all my friends, that word that was spoken over me is also for you. Mm -hmm. Like, receive it. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not just for me. I said, that word's for every single woman that walks into this home, right? Into Mm -hmm. this house and feels lost feels broken, feels betrayed, right? Mm -hmm. Every single mom that feels like they can't make it, like something just like snapped, like, Mm. oh God, like I have to, and I want to, and I need to be that example for other women, for other women that walking into the house and say that, well, God can use Tracy and all her crazy mess from her past that he can use that as a testimony. And he could also use you right like that's what it's all about yes 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 so from fiercely feminine it was my first fiercely feminine feminine by the way Mm -hmm. and i wish that everyone would have experienced that Mm. because there's nothing like it being Mm -hmm. in a room full of women that are expecting yes and it's that in that expectation Mm -hmm. that you know god's like downloading Mm -hmm. yeah You know, and there's no going back. Like, I choose not to go back to old Tracy, um, like way of thinking. Um, Like, I just want, Lord, whatever you have for me is what I desire and what I want. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. So everyone listening right now, all the women, all the single ladies, 2023 Women's Conference Freedom House. Come on. Here is your cordial invitation. (laughs) We don't get sponsored by Freedom House to say this, but hey. Join next year and just watch what the Lord does. Come you know? expecting. Yes, come yeah. expecting, yeah. yes. And I think even coming expecting every single um, moment, moment that you walk into mm-hmm. church, right? Anytime you, it's on a Sunday or if you're serving, like come with expectation. Yes. Yeah. And ha- come with an open heart and knowing that you, like God will move, yes. Amen. you know, with your yes. And mm-hmm. so I completely like surrendered my whole life. Mm. Yeah. like surrendered everything lord whatever you want i'll do it yeah amen whatever it is yeah. like i want to say yes to you god because that's where my heart's at mm-hmm. yes. that's what i love yes, yes, and yes. Yeah. I, I choose not to live any other way yeah I, love that. yeah I believe that that's when the lord starts revealing more to you when you, you you're able to lift up your hands and tell god here i am mm-hmm use me in any way you want me to because that's when the lord sees your heart that you have repent of your sins that you want a radical shift 
that's when the Lord could start trusting you with more. Mm -hmm. And then more comes after that if you stay faithful. Yeah. Because sometimes we, we believe like, um, okay, you want me to do that, Lord? But I'm not enough. Then, then God could be saying, I'm trusting you and you still don't believe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes it just takes a little bit of faith. It takes faith so the Lord could trust you with more. Talking about faith, like, it reminds me of the story when Jesus is getting crucified with the two sinners right next to him. And one of them tells him, Lord, and, and, and I can't say it exactly how it's, it's, it, it's in the Bible, but it, he in, to summarize it. He says, Lord, when you go to heaven, remember me. And Jesus turned to him and told him, because you have that faith, you're going and you're going into heaven with me. Because he had faith. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And um, that person didn't get baptized or anything. But he entered heaven because he had faith. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. powerful. Talking about baptisms. <laughs> you're going to get baptized. Yes. That is so awesome. Come yeah, on. So that's excited. awesome. Yes. yes. Coming up this weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, yes. Tomorrow. That's awesome. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm getting baptized tomorrow. Um, and... I know you guys just found out, but um, yeah. yeah, so it was just something, you know, that I was actually serving in Connectors and um, it was like, write your name down, Tracy, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I just wrote my little name down. <laughs> okay. Aww. And I just said, okay, Lord, I, I said, all right, I'm going to do this. And a part of me was just like, mm, I don't know. I don't really want to, you know, like that. Just us just feeling like, I don't know. I don't want to feel like. I want to get dunked in front of everyone. You know? mm. <laughs> that's that's yeah. true. Yeah. And then um, I said, all right, I'm just going to write my name down. And it was like a month ago that I did that. And now it's tomorrow and I'm mm -hmm. super excited. I invited, yeah. you know, friends, um, family. And in Jesus name, I pray that they come, you know, and not Amen. only just to see that um, that change, but also to know that God can use me again, mm -hmm. that they can also you're leading by example. Yeah. You're being mm -hmm. that one to say yes first. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's so awesome. So I'm really excited. Yeah. We're yes. excited for you. Yeah. We can't wait to be there and watch it and support and celebrate you yes. as you are leaving your old life behind and starting a new one and trusting God with everything mm -hmm. that you already have. You've already been doing that. Like Tracy is faithful. Um, she is such a light at church with her big old smile. She is so <laughs> goofy and funny, big humor. Um, yeah. And so loving and kind. And I'm just like, I'm so thankful to be able to see and be a part of that because I see God moving in you and you just saying yes to everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that he, where he has placed you, you are obedient. See your daughter, like the love that you have for them. And, you know, for your praying husband. Mm. Amen. Yes. yes. The man of God that will come. Yes. <laughs> okay. she, you just, you're so deserving of it. Any, Amen. anyone. I love you. But yeah, <laughs> Thank I love you. you too. Yeah. And, and that's even in the waiting though. Like I, I feel like this is so important to tell single women, like it's okay to be single mm -hmm. and run after God at Amen. your full capacity, at your full potential and not worry about who's coming you know, like that God will place him yes. when it's time. Yes. Amen. God will do that because he's a good God. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so there's no like, oh my gosh, who is he? You know, because I hear that a lot. Mm. And it's like, no, stay focused. Yes. Stay like, stay committed to his plan for your mm -hmm. life. Yes. Amen. Um, for your children. Continue to be uh, faithful in all areas. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Serving, like serving the house. I love serving yes. the house, by the way. <laughs> awesome. I yes, just like, do. I love it. Like, yeah. because, you know, during Fiercely Feminine, they also spoke about motherhood and ministry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And being a mother, being a single mother, it's like sometimes you think like, mm, like, how can God use that? Right. Mm -hmm. Or I can't do the full length of somebody else. But no, those are lies. Like, yes, yeah. you can. Yes, you can be the be motherhood and ministry yes. you don't have to choose one or the other because we can do it both, both because we are choosing to leave a legacy yes. we are Amen. choosing to be an example like my daughter knows like hey this is what we do z knows hey this is what we do mm -hmm. and so it's like this is how we're choosing to live our life and there's no other way like this is it yeah kiddos yeah <laughs> we're sticking to it yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. And i want to acknowledge you for that like um serving because you go beyond of just you know serving 
one hour and then you're out of church. Like today you were sharing, she was sharing this morning that um, sh today in the morning, she had just came back from an outreach. outreach. Mm -hmm. And then now you're still, you went an extra step and honoring God with this time right now mm -hmm. to glorify how he has been moving in your life. And that's powerful because you choose to, to be that person where God is using you in different ways. And that's powerful in ways that you might not even, you know, have thought of a year or two years ago. God is using you yeah. now and he's going to gonna continue to trust you with more, Amen. Amen. you know? So yeah. what you just shared about like, hey, woman, like don't look for a man. What I hear you say is like, seek the Lord first, yeah. that all yeah. things will be added to you, you know? So that is powerful that you're sharing that. And in the midst of thinking like, oh, God can't use a single woman. He's using you in mighty ways. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody, you know? And, and what I want to talk about a little bit is because I myself, I, I could relate to you in being a single father. I could relate that way. Um, and having kids. Mm -hmm. And I just want to talk about a little bit about kids because what, what and I want to ask you if you had this feeling or this thought before in your mind. Because just recently it was revealed to me um, why God gave me my daughter, Alice. Mm. And it was because when we pray to our father in heaven, we, there's only one way to reach our father in heaven and it's through Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. when I was praying to my father in heaven, I told him, father, God, like, you know, forgive me of my sins and all of that. But God revealed to me, Miguel, like, you know, when you have to correct your daughter and you know, you discipline her and then like right off the bat, you regret it and you you talk to her, you go down to her level and you tell her, I love you, daughter, but we have to have these conversations because I need to correct you because I love you, mm -hmm. but I forgive you and I hug my daughter. Yeah. God told me that's the same reason. I mean, that's the same way I love you. Yeah. That's why I gave you a daughter so you could experience and flesh my love for you. And I thought that was powerful because... A lot of times we pray, God, forgive us, forgive me of my sins. But no, God has already forgiven us of all of our sins through the sacrifice of his son. Mm -hmm. So when we go to our father in heaven, it's more like, God, thank you because I know you love me because I am your child. And just the way I forgive my, my earthly kids right off the bat is the same way I know you forgive me of all, of all my wrongdoings, father in heaven. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you if you've, you've ever had that revelation in you with your kids, because I feel like God gives, like God is very intentional. Like mm -hmm. you have your kids for a reason. Yes. So yeah, I definitely can relate with all of that. I yeah. actually have a teenager. Um, so there's a lot of <laughs> grace and I have a toddler also more grace. And yeah, you know what, with my son, um, since he's only five, you know, he He's very smart, and sometimes it's like, okay, let's settle down. Let's relax, you know, and, and yeah, we could get a little bit like, come on, you know. Or, yes. Oh, you know, <laughs> come on, kid. Yeah. Um, let's get ready. And, yeah, that can be challenging sometimes, but I have to remember grace. Yeah. Um, same, I have man. to remember, like, all right, let's just tone it down. Yeah. Let's walk in love. Yeah. Let's. You know, so it's like all of that. And then same thing with my daughter. So, again, teenager, definitely very challenging, influenced by so many things in her life, right? Mm -hmm. And same thing, all I have to say is like, I love you, Nevaeh. Like, come here. Like, I love you. Yeah. And I pray that, you know, every time I tell her that she receives it, you know, like, Amen. I love you. Come here. Um, let me hug you. She's like my height. You know, she's really tall. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it's like. I'm like, man, like time flies. But mm -hmm. in that moment of being a mother, I am, I thank God that he has made me a mother. Come on. Um, because I know that I wouldn't be the person I am today. Mm -hmm. Not that I find my identity in them, but God has placed certain things in me and structure and mm -hmm. develop me as a woman as a mother, as a woman of God to mm -hmm. raise my children Amen. into like this next generation yeah. after God's heart. Amen. Right. Yes. Because we need to, like, we have, this is like a plan. Like, yeah. this is what we want to do. This is what we have to do. Like 
we don't want to lose generations. Like mm -hmm. we need to bring them back. Yeah. And so as my children's mother, um, I feel like that's my duty. You know, it's first my home. Yeah. How do I raise them? How do I show them God's love? Mm -hmm. Right? Because we can't just be all like wild out, like, oh, no, yeah. no, no. okay, kids. Yeah. No, it's like, well, how show does God, yeah. how does God talk to us? How does mm -hmm. he forgive us? Yes, how does he just yes. like love us? Like, it's all cozy. cozy yeah. And, you know, yeah, like the walk with God is not always like rainbows and butterflies, right? Yeah. But there's no other way I choose to live because there's power Amen. in his word. And Amen. so it's like anytime we find, you know, ourselves in situations with our children, with anything, like there is a word for it. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Like it's in here. Yes. Yes. You know, we just Amen. have to look for it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Pastor Josiah said one time, if you can't hear God, read your Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read it. Yeah. If you can't hear it, read it. That's yeah. the way you could hear God yeah. through what you're saying right now. That's pretty yeah. powerful. Talking about the Bible. Yeah. Do you have any scripture that you go back to um, when I always say this, but we, we, we all go through battles. Like you said, yeah. it's not all, you know, butterflies and, you know, and when you're going through a hard season or a difficult situation, what's that scripture that you always, you know, kind of hold on to and like just hold in your heart. And it's a, a reminder. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think that in every day life, you know, it is the word of God that we have to continually feed ourselves yeah. with. Amen. Yes. Um, so it's not even like being in the season because Pastor Marie talked about being in an era, mm -hmm. right? We're not going through like the seasonal emotional places. Like, no, this is an era. Mm -hmm. And so I that stuck with me like era, era, era. Like here yeah. we are. And this is something that I just speak over myself um, every single day. Come on. And yeah. it's uh, Matthew six thirty three. And it says, I always, you know, paraphrase, but, um, but seek first his kingdom and his righteous righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. So with that, it's like, always seek, yes. like seek his kingdom, Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Seek his kingdom and being part of that kingdom. Like we are royalty, right? Yeah. We're yes. daughters, like we're daughters mm -hmm. of a king. Yes, so it's amen. like how you, how you picture like a little girl going up to their daddy, like daddy, daddy, like I, I protect me or daddy, daddy, like I love you. Um, like that's our dad, yes. you know what yes. I mean? Our heavenly father that we can go like, I need this or mm -hmm. I need that. Like we go to him for everything. Yes. Right. Yes, amen. And so like living in that mindset of it's like, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're not empty. Like you're not like all of those lies, like continue to fill yourself up with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. like yes, 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 fill yes. this, mm -hmm. like this is it. Um, nothing like it. It's so, it's so big too. Like yeah. you, you can find everything in here. And <laughs> yeah. if you don't have one of these, the Bible app is really cool yes. too. Um, but yeah, like there's no worry. Like those lies do come in. Right. But when you really put your faith and trust in God, like there is no worry. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. Like, yeah. God's going to do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Amen. Right? And I feel like that was just like, it's like every day I'm like in that moment mm -hmm. of like, God's going to do it. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt. And I think a lot of people are surprised by it. Like my my form of thinking or the way that I serve or the way that I choose to go into the house and say, Lord, I'm going to give you my all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the best of me because I felt like I always gave the world the best of me. Mm -hmm. So if I can give mm -hmm. the world the best of me, which I thought, mm -hmm. how much more can I do for his kingdom? Yes, come on. Like how much more can yeah. I really lay down my life and say, Lord, you have placed gifts inside of me. Come on. Things that I'm like, I don't know if I can do that, but I can do all things to him. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. So when I begin to speak those words, when I begin to fill myself up with that, then I say, oh, yeah. I can do that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's like that mentality. It's a mindset yeah. shift, you yes. know, because there is like battles in your mind. But when we fill ourselves with his thoughts, because it says his thoughts are higher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we have, there is no limit to what he can do. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And so I choose to live at that. Like, yes. Lord, whatever you want, I'll do. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll serve God. Stretch me. 
okay, yeah. you know, yeah, and there is times where you rest and things like that. But it's like we have to remember it's not our ourselves doing it. It's through him. Yeah. yeah. And everything that he does is through us. What God's going to show us and mm-hmm. also show other people. And I think that's where I'm at. It's like at a place where I want to be an example mm-hmm. to other women mm-hmm. to show them that serving God is fun. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it's like totally fun. That's awesome. It's um, it's rewarding to mm-hmm. see other lives transformed Come on. and change and knowing that women can walk in their authority, mm-hmm. knowing yeah. that women can speak up and say like, no, I will not bow down. I will be a woman of the word who yeah. reads her word. Right. I will be a woman who prays like because it's not about us. It's about those that are coming after us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like God yeah. can do everything you know, and it's not to glorify us, it's to glorify Amen. him Amen. in everything and yes. everything I do, yeah. any gift that he has given me, every talent. I, Lord, I thank you for that. I thank Amen. you for giving me that because mm-hmm. now I'm able to use it for your kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's very true what you're saying because, for example, there's a gentleman in Freedom House. His name is Anthony. He's a praying mm-hmm. warrior. Yeah. I introduced myself to him and I told him, hey, man, can you pray for me? Um, so he did, and by his yes, by his obedience, he was he was able to pray and remind me. And I know it's the Holy Spirit praying through him, right? Mm-hmm. But because of Anthony's yes and obedience, I was reminded that I come from a royalty family, like mm-hmm. you just mentioned. Amen. Because that in that prayer, Anthony said, "Father in heaven, remind him that he is a son of a king." He has royalty blood flowing through his veins. And I was like, yes, 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 Father, thank (laughs) you, you know? And it was a a great reminder. It was beautiful. I felt, you know, the Holy Spirit and God talking to me and reminding me. But I I, want to go back to what you were just sharing right now, that Anthony, you, everyone that serves in the church is an example how how we could say no to the things of this world. world. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. get to experience how how we get to see someone that comes in from the world and they change their life and mentality. And we pray a lot in our church for for pray for a renewed mind, change my mind, change my heart, because it pertains to what you're sharing. You know mm-hmm. that that by changing our mind, um, we could experience the love of God. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's awesome. Amen. That's everything that you're sharing. That's yeah. awesome. You know, and and we choose to tell God, use us, Father in heaven, so other yeah. other could see. Let us be the light of this world. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yes. You know. So. Yeah. I, I love that. Awesome. And I think yeah. that's exactly what you are—a light. Yes. To a lot of people, the people that are going to be listening to this, they're going to be able to relate and connect with you, and not just like the listeners, but like at church too. You're such a light, Tracy, and we all see it, the love and the fire that you have for God mm-hmm. and just like your openness, your op- your willingness and, and your yes to God. Every time I see a happy face, yeah. I'm like, oh, Tracy. Well, you think of Tracy. <laughs> yes, yeah. well, to be honest really with you. Yes. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, you light yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. The other and, day we were at, in the yeah. mall walking yeah. and we saw a sweater like, like that Tracy. with a big smiles and I was like, <laughs> yeah. Tracy. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> Tracy was here. Yeah. Um, that's so... It's so wild to think that. And that actually, um, with the happy face, with like smiles and victory, um, was something that God gave me. Amen. So I was praying and believing. um, Like, I'm like, God, I want to do something. I want to start something. But I want it to be from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was at, ironically, it's called The Source, um, which now you think about it, like, he's our source, right? Yeah. and in that place, there mm-hmm. was like happy faces all over. And I wanted something with victory. Okay. I wanted, you know, because we're like, we're like in victory. Yeah. You know, there's Amen. such a powerful word, victory. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you Google the image of victory, there's also like, um, like crown, like a crown. Um, so I think about like royalty, yeah. royalty Ooh, as well, yeah. right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so it like correlates. But yeah. And so anyways, I saw it and I saw like happy faces everywhere. And um, it was beautiful to see because it's such an iconic image. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, there's nothing like a smile. Right. And there's nothing like living in victory. Mm. Amen. And then smiles and victory became 
That's where it clicked. But yeah. let them know that smiles ooh, ooh, kept ooh. like coming up in different ways. Yes. Yeah. So there was like a smile on a sweater. There was a smile on a um, a little sign on the floor. There was another one on um, like wasn't it like on the wall? Yeah, on yeah. the wall. And it's and there was actually like a a, a scripture on on that wall too. And it's it's called flow. Okay. Um, and yeah, so there was like Just literally like so many, so many, God so was many. Revealing. Yes, yeah. There it is. There it and so yeah. then like smiles and victory came about and um I was blessed with actually a camera. Um oh, wow. mm -hmm. so that was actually given to me. And you know, I've always had a passion for um, like images, photography, just creativity in mm -hmm. general. Yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. loved it. Is that the camera you have? Right I do. I have it right yeah. here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm believing for another one. But um, yeah, so I was blessed with that one. And it's like God is able to show me things and and really looking at things and situations, um, people, everything through his lens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Because. Sometimes we can identify people based on what others say or what we think. But now I'm like, God, like you gave me this camera and there's a purpose behind it. Come mm -hmm. on. And so I was able, now I see everything through like the way that God wants me to see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Lord, show me. You're the creator. Yeah. yeah. You're you're the creator. You're the creative mind. You've like, you have it all planned, you know? Yes. And so it's like, because he's such a great creator, I'm like, Lord, you've downloaded that into me as yeah, someone yeah. that can create, someone that can look at something differently. And mm -hmm. and sometimes I think like, wait, you don't think like that? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't see that? Yeah. 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 Oh, my yeah. gosh. We could get, that's a whole different conversation. Yeah, Come yeah, on, somebody. Right? Yes, because yeah. I do believe that when when we create. We increase what God has already given us. Yeah. Mm. Come on, somebody. Someone yeah. someone needs to listen to that right now yes. because we were created to create. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we need to create the right things, obviously. Mm -hmm. and, and something that's gonna, you know, be pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so all the listeners right now, Solomon, if you could put it on the screen. So I want you guys to support um smiles and victory. And um if it, what what it is is you guys could reach out to Tracy and if, if you guys have a photo shoot a wedding a party whatever you know if, if you guys need her services you guys could reach out through makeup Instagram too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I just saw that with like Lena oh yeah, yeah. Makeup, and okay. Grace and I was like oh what but so I know that that's yeah a little bit of everything so yeah. I, I did um makeup I was in the makeup industry for 10 years so I did education behind it. So, I mean, mm, anything that. like, and so it's like God's bringing it all full circle. Yes. Cool. You know, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. that he's just bringing back. And I'm just saying, yes, Lord. Yes, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, And that's where I go back that she has been like obedient and just faithful and open and saying yes to what every, to everything that God brings in, in her, in her life with people, through people. Um, she even took our pictures too. Yeah. And we're just so thankful. And she made it so comfortable we love mm -hmm. you, Tracy. Oh, I love and you. we just love seeing like what God's going to continue to do through your story as it's still being written out and through your testimony and your kids being able to see that and you leading by example. So it's just been awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And this is powerful right here, you yeah. know, but telling God like, yes, use me. And like 10 years down the line, you could probably say, hey, like 10 years ago, I was on a podcast. And I, I declared because this this is like a public declaration that you're saying I want God to use me so I could help single mothers, pe women that are you know that have children and are single. And yeah. ten down ten years down the line, you mm -hmm. could see yourself in, in in a way where you could reflect and say, "Wow, yeah. like look at what the Lord has done." Maybe yeah. you'll be speaking in a women's conference. Come on, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you just never know, but you have to be obedient. Yes. Like mm -hmm. this step right now, this step of faith. You're telling God, God, you could trust me with a little bit more. Yeah. What's next? Mm -hmm. And it comes through praying and thanking the Lord for He's what he's already doing, because we want to acknowledge God for what he has been doing yeah. and telling him, Lord, you could trust me with more. And he already knows. Yeah. He already knows. So mm -hmm. that's so awesome that, you know, you're sharing. Yeah. And um, so we have, or is there anything else you want to share or? Oh, yeah. So yeah. kind of based off the like photography and um you know lens right mm -hmm. um 
I actually have this um, camera, a disposable camera that's actually going around right now mm. uh, with, I know, with a group <laughs> of girls. Um, you're actually one of the girls on my list. And um, it's, you know, there's only 27 photos that you can take. So there's everyone's taking two images, right? And I'm giving them a week. So it's one week to take two images and reflect on what God wants you to see mm. through his lens, mm. like a revelation. And you can't see what your, um, what your image is until it's been developed. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. I love that. awesome. So, yeah, and yeah, with yeah. the development, so like mm. when you think about something that's being developed, like film, it's in a dark room. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so I'm like, well, you know, we go to that secret place, to mm -hmm. our room, right, where we are being developed. And with film, you can't expose it right away because yeah. then it's ruined. Mm -hmm. And so as we're being developed, so this is just something that God was just downloaded, like, okay, as we're being developed, right, the renewing of our mind, like in the right time, God, you'll, people will see God mm -hmm. in you through Amen. you and Amen. shine yes, yes, yes. and in that same way with this camera this disposable camera that's going around um these women it's just with women um are able to see uh, things through god's lens mm. what we may have thought was broken or lost mm. or uh, defeated and it could be anything it could be a building it could be your shoes it, it literally could be your car <laughs> like, it could mm. be family um that you start seeing them through God's lens. Mm. You know, there's a purpose behind it. There's a shift behind it. There's a change behind mm -hmm. it. Amen. So after the film, after everyone's done taking their, you know, their photos, um, the it's going to be developed and it's going to go through that process in the dark room. Mm. Mm. And then after that. that, we'll be able to see a complete image. Mm. Wow. So That's awesome. there's no other way to develop film. Mm -hmm. Unless it's in a dark room. Yeah. So I use that as like, well, that's how we are, right? Yeah. That we are developed. We're being developed. And there's a process through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't just be like, oh, there it is. There's a process that we all have to go through. And everyone's process is different. Yeah. But I think what's so important and so vital is that we're all connected um, in like our community and, mm -hmm. you know, building God's kingdom. And with that being said, um, with even doing like connect groups. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. So yeah. I actually have the honor of co-hosting a connect group this season. And it's for women who have been attending Freedom House for mm -hmm. a year or less. So mm. they're new. Mm -hmm. And obviously y'all know, like I'm new too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But. I shared this because there's no there's no time frame of how God can use you. Yeah. Amen. Right? If mm -hmm. you're willing, open and ready and obedient, God's God sees that. Yeah. He wants to he wants your yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? He wants your yes. So someone asked me and I was like, "Sure." I said, "Yes." Because I don't want to be um I don't want to go backwards. Mhm. Mm I don't I want to be everything that God has called me to be. Yeah. Come on. And not everything that Tracy wants to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we can be filled up in our own heads like, oh, I'm like, I'm okay with this. Or, you know, Tracy wants this, but it's like, nope. What does God want? Yeah. Do you find it that you know that God wants you there when you find it challenging? Because a lot of yes. times we, we're like, oh, I'll do that. But Whatever's God easy. is trying to put you somewhere where it scares you. <laughs> and God is like, that's what I want you to do. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's always the stretching. It's yeah. always a challenge. For growth, too. Yeah, yeah, because where you're comfortable, you're not going to grow, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, wherever I feel like, mm, like doubt or like fear, right? Or like, mm, I can't do that. I'm like, I'm not the best. You mm -hmm. know, choose somebody else, God. Yeah. It's like, no, Tracy, like I placed you there and I put that desire in your heart. So mm. grow in it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like the more you do it, the more you practice it, the more God's able to develop it. Yes. Amen. And the yes. more you're in that process, then God wants to use you. God wants to use you. Mm -hmm. God has a, a year, like a desire for you. Yeah. Like he longs for you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of where I'm at. And there's no place else I would rather be. 
Yeah. And no other thing I would rather do. And I want women to come into the house and say, wow, if God can do it for Tracy. Come on. Mm-hmm. If God can change that person, mm-hmm. yeah. a wild girl, God can do it for me. Come on. Amen. Like, and because I was someone that was like all in or nothing, always like in the world, I'm like, I'm 100% mm-hmm. in. I'm 100. I'm 100 in. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no going back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's how I am in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I'm 100% in. There's yeah. no going back. I can't have one foot in and one foot out. No, mm-hmm. yeah. that's not the way I work. That's not the way I was raised. That's not how my mind works. I'm like, 100. Mm-hmm. Lord, mm-hmm. use me, and I'm going in full force. Yeah. Amen. And obviously, relying on his word, relying on prayer, relying on my relationship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Because without this... And without this, yeah. like, there is yeah. no this, mm-hmm. right? There is no smiles and victory. Yeah. There is no development. There is no Tracy, like, runs after God. Yeah. Right? Because people, we can, like, fake the funk all we want, but then that's, like, burnout happens. Yeah. yeah. Right? But it's, like, no, when you're constantly refueling, refilling yourself, your mind, your spirit, then that's, okay, now I'm ready. Let's go in. Mm-hmm. Right. I have Amen. a question. Did you ever find yourself in a place where you were like in and out where you were saying yes to God, but then the world was kind of oh calling gosh. you and going back? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Actually, when I first started going to Freedom House. Um, OK, so I go to school mm-hmm. and with a lot of younger generations. Right. And I've known these people for over a year. Not once did these people say, Tracy, let's go out throughout that whole year. But as soon as I stepped into Freedom House, like Mm -hmm. church, hey, Tracy, what are you doing this weekend? Hey, Tracy, Mm -hmm. like, can we, you know? And I was like, oh, man, like, what do I do? And so I did catch myself, like, having to fight. Mm -hmm. Like, this is cool. Serving God is cool. You know what I mean? Because I always feel like serving God is amazing. Yeah. Like it's it's great. It's challenging, but great. Mm-hmm. Because there's there we have the source. Mm-hmm. And but anywho, like I did find myself having that battle. Mm-hmm. And I remember telling my directors, like, and being open and honest with them, like, hey, this just happened. Yeah. You know, like, okay, check this out. There was a time I was in San Diego and my friend was in San Diego and she was like, you're here. And I said, yeah, she's like, so am I, we're both from like here, like, you know, living in orange County. Like, yeah. what are you doing in San Diego at the same time <laughs> yeah. as me? And she was like, want to go out? And I said, I can't. And I, I could have, I've had, um, you know, my, my family lives there. So I'm like, I could have easily dropped my kids off with, you know, my mom, my brother, my sister, right. And so like, see you later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go. But no, like that was something that I have to fight and say, no, mm-hmm. I'm not. But I did see once I completely surrendered, I closed every single door. I closed off every distraction. I Then that's where I'm like, okay, all right, mm-hmm. God, I know where you need me. I know where you want me. Yeah. Because there was so much happening around me. Yeah. But as soon as I said, nope, that was it. Mm-hmm. And I had to be like, my no is no and my yes is yes. Mm-hmm. I can't be one in, one out. Like I had, I had to choose. Mm-hmm. And what was that moment for you where you were just like, nope, I'm all done. I'm all in for you, God. What led you to that? I think the thought of going back into like party mode, mm-hmm. the thought of like waking up and not like being like wild, mm-hmm. right? The thought of like, what, what if something happens if I'm out there? being you know doing everything Mm -hmm. and i that fear i think Mm -hmm. it was just like that fear of the lord of like yes that's we're going to talk about that right now yeah Yeah. (laughs) fear of the lord yeah and i think it's powerful because um you feel like when temptation comes around you fall into it then it's like you got to hit the restart button Mm -hmm. and it's like oh i just went into this cycle again and when you have the fear of the lord that gives you the strength to say, no, yeah. I'm not going to go back into that. Mm-hmm. I choose not to. Yeah. So the fear of the Lord is different for many people. Mm-hmm. I, I feel the Lord in a 
very different way, but maybe if you could share a little bit of how you fear the Lord. Um, uh, well, I fear the Lord in a sense of like not wanting to go back to the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like it, it's like almost like saying like, um, Tracy, like I took you out of this situation. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. would you want to go back to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And never go back to that place where I took you out of. Like mm -hmm. I rescued you from that place. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my fear is like, don't go back to that. Yeah. yeah. And so I think just choosing and staying around the right people is where that building and that community happens. Mm -hmm. So it's like when that temptation does come, because it will, right? We're all human. Mm -hmm. That temptation will come where a little birdie comes, you know, and yeah. says, hey, what's, what's up? up? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Temptation yeah. is always there. That's why it's, yeah. it's. But you know what? Then you have like that discernment and you have that revelation yep. and say, nope, God, mm -hmm. I choose not to yes. entertain this. Yeah. Right. And everything you have to take to prayer. Yes. Amen. Everything. Yeah. Someone wants to talk to you, take it to prayer. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to say, hey, girl, take it to prayer. And yeah. so, well, hold on. If he's saying, hey, girl, <laughs> red flag, <laughs> red flag, red flag. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, no, it's like yeah. you, you want to build something right. And I yeah. think um, even with friendship with girls, if it's already starting off as something, um, you know, negative and you're, it's not healthy or you feel drained then it's like take it to prayer and God mm -hmm. will show you what it is. Yeah. And and don't um don't ignore it. Yeah. Don't ignore what God is revealing. Mm -hmm. But I think that staying connected, staying on the path, yeah. Um, and discerning when those distractions do yes, come. Yes, that's mm -hmm. important. Exposing the enemy. Exposing, yeah. yeah. So Pastor Marie says, um, what an enemy exposed as an enemy defeated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that right there as well it's like you don't want to anything that's done in secret will eventually come to light yes so that's it's like true. you don't want to do anything in secret right yeah. mm -hmm. like you you don't because it will it will rise up yeah. yeah and um i chose to just completely so i i block people from my phone, social media, um, literally like everything to keep off any distractions mm -hmm. um, from my life. Yeah. Do distractions still still come without yeah. a doubt? Yeah. Right? Because mm -hmm. it all starts with the thought. But once you realize and you're like, oh, that's just a thought. It's not real. Mm -hmm. It's not reality. And you you take it to God and, and you have friends that you can say, hey, like, I just thought about this. You know, and yeah. we're being naturally like just real about it. Yeah. Then you have someone that could pray for you with you and tell you like, hey, that's OK. But let's remember what the word of God yeah. says. Yeah. Yeah. I just having that. that vulnerability. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. And I just want to, you know, say and mention that when you have the fear of the Lord, mm -hmm. um, because you choose to be faithful, the Lord, the living God is the only one that has the power that that's going to allow your kids and your kids' kids to break generational mm -hmm. strongholds. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of people find the fear of the Lord. It's just like, like what you said, I, I don't want to go back to the old things because I know God is my redeemer. Mm -hmm. He's my vindicator and I'm not going to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Despite of what temptation comes, comes in. And yeah. it's beautiful that you're sharing about fellowship and, and being vulnerable. And when something happens, Expose it, give someone yeah. a call. That's why connect groups are yes. essential, mm -hmm. you know, to to get connected with people and, you know, connect groups. And also in church, like we have your number, Tracy, and, mm -hmm. and we have numbers of people in church. And when something happens, we could yeah. give them a call and we say, what do you them. think about this? Or can you pray about this? Mm -hmm. Or what do you think about this? Um, so I think that's awesome. And and for the listeners, you know, it's it's important for you to find the fear of the Lord in your life personally yeah that is very important because if you don't have the fear of the lord <laughs> you're going to fall back into temptation i'll tell you that right now yeah yeah without the fear of the lord you're, you're going to fall back and so. god's going to reveal to you and work through you in a different way as he has with each and every one of us yeah. like our stories are very different god has touched us and spoken to us in a different way where yeah. if you've been led to like just say no where i've been like okay god i don't want anything of the world anymore i just want to serve you and likewise with miguel so if you're going through something just like 
Tracy has been saying, go to God, pray yeah. about it. Um, get in, like, start fellowshipping, connecting with people that are going to speak life to you, that are going to remind you of the word and just encourage you that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. That is one of the big main things. And here, like being able to talk about like what you've shared, you know, going yeah. back to the world and then coming to, to God and then feeling ashamed and carrying that guilt mm -hmm. and just like embarrassment. And it's like, okay, now I'm a hypocrite or I can't go back or I just, you Like, you know, when, when God is so loving to you yeah. and like he forgives you, just like how mm -hmm. Miguel has shared in, in his revelation with God. Um, so I wanted to ask you, Tracy, like when who someone who is going through that battle where they want, like, you know, they're in between, like they want God and then they're also being tempted. Like, what can you share to them? Like, what can you encourage them with? Oh, man. Um that he loves you amen mm -hmm. yeah. that god yeah. sincerely loves you and yes. cares for you unconditional love yeah, yeah like there's there's no limit to his love mm -hmm. there's no um there's no end to it and he truly cares mm -hmm. like god yeah. loves you yeah jesus loves you amen. and there's nothing like his love mm -hmm. and when when times get hard Because they do, right? Yeah. Um, then and there are those challenges. Know that you have a father Come that on. you can cry out to. Mm -hmm. yes. And he listens. Mm -hmm. And even if you feel like the lies of does he listen or the doubt? Mm -hmm. No, he listens. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when you stay consistent in the things of God, when you stay consistent in, in everything that he has for you, um, you'll see. Like, you'll see everything come to pass. Yeah. And I mean, his love is just so much greater than you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I think just being vulnerable and open. And you know what? That word used to scare me before, vulnerability. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. I'm like, yeah. what do you mean vulnerable? Yeah. And no, yeah. Like, I started like, no, like, Lord, I'm going to be vulnerable in your, yeah. like, for mm -hmm. you. Yes. And everything that you have for me. And so, like for that person that may be going through something challenging like be vulnerable mm -hmm. yes allow his love in yeah like he loves you he cares for you he desires you mm -hmm. um and even when you feel like giving up and wa wandering is is god going to answer my prayer like it's just around the corner don't yeah. give up Yeah. Amen. your miracle is around the corner yes. do not give up your children's miracles are around the corner do yes. not mm -hmm. give up and a lot of people give up like when that miracle is right around the yeah. corner mm. when it's on its way yeah it's That's on tough. its way and it's not our timing mm -hmm. you know like oh god when is this gonna happen or when is that gonna happen yeah no it's everything is in his timing but his timing is perfect amen like yes. his timing is perfect so Don't grow weary in mm -hmm. doing good. I love that. And so stay consistent is what I have to say. Yes. Don't give up. Continue fighting. Continue, you know, serving. Mm -hmm. Continue going to God for everything. Amen. Everything. Yeah. Everything you take to prayer. And, and, and it might sound maybe if someone's like listening and you don't know who Jesus is or you yeah. don't know what that relationship is like, allow your heart to remain open mm -hmm. and, you know, accept his love. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll sense it. Mm -hmm. You'll know that it's there. And it's not that it's like these feelings and emotions, you know, because we don't walk by feelings or emotions, but it's yeah. your faith. Yeah. And when you believe that you believe that God sent his only son to die on the cross for us, right? For you mm -hmm. and I. Yes. Like there's nothing like it. Like mm -hmm. no one can take that away from you. Yeah. You no one can that. erase that from your mind. It's not like that men in black, like <laughs> erase. Yeah. No, it's yeah. like, it's there and it's mm -hmm. real. And so for every mom that may be struggling or that may wander, um, why, why am I going through this? Mm -hmm. Um, Just know that God is going to use everything, mm -hmm. all things for his good. Come on. Um, every single part of your life, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, 
for his honor and his glory. Amen. And that's where I'm at now. Like living yeah. that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, God, use it all. Okay. Yeah. Here I am. Yeah. And so every part of me, I choose to use it for his honor and his glory and say, Amen. like, God, you, you use every part. Everything that I thought wasn't going to be used, every part that I thought was so ugly. Mm. And I have shared this with a lot of women during connect groups. And it's like, if God can use me, God mm. can use you. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Mm. That's awesome. I want everyone listening right now. Um, if you know a single mother that's going through a hard time, share this link with them, you know, because that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Um, if they don't know who Jesus is, if they don't have a relationship with Jesus, if they could listen to Tracy's testimony mm -hmm. and, you know, say, you know what? OK, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go to a, a church, a Christian church, a Bible based church. Or if you're in the Orange County, L.A. area, come to Freedom House Church. Yeah. Come on, check it out. Google it or if, reach out to us. We'll give you the address. And like Tracy has been saying, if God did it for her, God could do it for you, too. Yes. So I want you guys to share the link with, with, you know, those single mothers out there. And we're also asking the listeners, you know, to support Tracy yes. um, with her business. If you know someone that, that needs a photo shoot, go ahead and check it out. Um, we also want to put right there on the bio, on yeah. the screens. Um, uh, she's so sweet. She has a little section <laughs> like buy, buy me a yeah. coffee. So if, I love coffee. <laughs> yes, there it is right there. There's a link where you could go and buy her her next cup of coffee. So yeah. if you enjoyed this podcast, go ahead and, and get her a coffee um which is great and you know we have one final question that we have for all of our guests and it's a question found in the bible matthew. in matthew 13 and it says that when jesus came to the region of caesarea philippi he asked his disciples who do people say that the son of man is and they replied um john the baptist or elijah or yet others said one of the prophets and then Jesus looked at them and said, but what about you? Who do you say that I am? So I feel like God made it personal. Jesus mm -hmm. made it personal and told them, yeah, that's what the world says about me. But what do you say about me? Who do you say I am? And then the same way I want to ask you, I know we acknowledge, we all know that God has been moving in your life, but who do you say Jesus is personally to you? Wow. I love that question. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cause he's so, he can be so many things yeah. to, to yeah. many. Right. Mm -hmm. But to me, um, the first word that came to mind was savior. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Amen. My rescuer, mm. Amen. my redeemer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, yeah, that, that because he rescued me mm -hmm. from yes. something that I thought I was going to live forever mm. from something I thought was my life. Mm. And I knew that there was also always like kind of something like a calling, you know, but I never thought like God can use me. Mm. And I kind of settled for whatever, whatever came my way. Mm. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, like many of us do. Yeah. And looking back, even like a year ago, if someone were to tell me, Tracy, you'll be right here right now doing virtual bridge podcasts. I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> like yeah, lies, yeah. lies. Mm -hmm. like you're such a liar. Um, and no, like from that place of like rescuing Jesus, like you rescued me, like you yes. took me out of that Amen. situation that I thought was going to be for the rest of my life. Mm. And I'm so eternal yeah. grateful for that. That's like awesome. I am forever. And from that place, I serve yeah. Amen. from gratitude, mm -hmm. from yes. thankfulness to knowing that every day here, like I took you out of that, not of like condemnation or anything like that, but like out of that place, I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Like it feels so good, good to live so when good. you have Jesus in your life. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It feels good to be alive. Yeah. There's yes. nothing like it. So much freedom. You, yes. There really is. I think that, you know, the world fills us up with so much like junk. And when we think about the name Jesus, it's so unique. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. Amen. And um, like even J-E-S-U-S, -S, you know, Jesus, like us, mm -hmm. you know, U-S, like us, like Jesus, like he just, he's just is like Jesus. Yeah. Yes. And so, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. that. And I mean, I can go on and on and on about <laughs> yeah, how great yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. is because Amen. I just love him so much, you know, yeah. and um, 
it's like a like a you know a little girl that has like her first little crush and it's like yeah. i just love so much <laughs> oh, it's yeah. like that it's like that little like you know um childlike faith mm-hmm. that you're just like oh that's powerful right yeah. there because yeah. in the bible it says unless you make yourself like a child you will not enter the kingdom of god yeah so no, that is so good. awesome tracy thanks for yeah, sharing thank you yeah we're super thankful and Again, for everyone listening, mm-hmm. we want you guys to share it. Show some love to Tracy. Yeah. And, well, thanks again, Tracy. Yeah. We Thank love you. We love you. I we love appreciate you. you. We honor you. We're so excited for what God's going to continue to do through and over your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your yes and your obedience. Yeah. We'll be there tomorrow supporting yeah. you. In your <laughs> I love we will. Yes. <laughs> we'll be there. You guys are awesome. Yes. Thank you for inviting me um, and actually making this an open space for people to share and for God just to use this this time in this moment, you know, because at the end of the day, it's not about us. Mm-hmm. It's amen. about others that can be reached through his yeah his word. Mm-hmm. Yes, amen. amen. And I want the listeners to know that this space, you know, we're being obedient. And the beautiful part about this is that this, you know, episode of Tracy sharing her testimony is going to be in the social media world. And it's going to stay there for years mm-hmm. and years and years. We're going to be yeah. long gone when we go, when we pass and we go into the kingdom of, of God, yeah. this testimony is going to be there and our kids, 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 kids are going to be able to see <laughs> yes. it. Yes. And that's the beautiful part about it, that they're going to be able to see, go back and see our faith yeah. mm-hmm. and say, wow, if my grandma, my grandma believed that, then that means that that lives inside of me too. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you're going to plant that beautiful seed of faith into everyone that's listening to this, to your generations and all of that. So that's why then, thank you yeah. for being bold and saying yes and it's something beautiful tracy yeah. we're believing that is this is from god this is what he has called us to do and like we prayed god you're gonna send your people to us mm-hmm. and you said yes it's, it's so it's awesome yeah thank you so i love you guys we, we love, love you too tracy <laughs> thanks you. for listening everyone and yeah. hope you guys have a blessed day yes